Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another exciting video on ITN Automation Academy. In this video, we are going to talk about what is process automation. Before we start today's video, I request you if you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel, consider subscribing, turn your notification on if you're interested to know about PLC, DCS, CADA, HMI related information and very easy to understand tutorials. Then this channel is right for you. Now let's talk about today's topic. What is process automation? Process automation or automation system is used to automatically control a process such as chemical, oil and gas, fertilizer and different process industries. Before understanding what is process automation, it's important to understand what is process. So first we will talk about what is process. If we will understand process, it is easy to understand process control or process automation. Process transform material from input to output. The steps involved to transform the material from input to output is called process. For example, when we talk about oil and gas, we have different processes, different steps to get oil extracted out of the well. So if we talk about power plants, in power plants we have you know coal-based power plants where your input is coal and your output is power. You have steam-based power plants where your input is steam and you're getting output as electricity. So there's a processes, there's a sequence of steps need to be performed in order to convert steam into electricity or convert coil into electricity or in some cases you have you're using gas and you're converting gas into electricity so there are different type of power plants where you have different processes and when we talk about field instrumentation like if you want to control something then we need to have like for example if you talk about home and body if we touch the fire what would be our sensing element? The God gifted us sensing elements to sense the pain and then that signal is sent to the controller of our brain. But when we talk about process industry, we need to have some sort of senses to be placed to check what is the temperature, what is the level, what is the flow. Now we have actuators. Like for example, one thing is sensing. If we touch a fire, the action would be to remove the hand. So actuator is our hand. After getting the signal from the brain, we are gonna remove the hand from the fire. So in that example, we have a sensor that senses the pain and we have a controller that is our brain that give us signal to, that give the signal to the home and body to remove the hand. And then we have actuator, our hand, actuator is our hand in that sense and controller is our brain so if we use that analogy in understanding of a process control or process automation then I'm gonna explain you field instrument may is the property of material or processes like flow pressure temperature level these are all sort of a things that need to be measured in process environment so actuator actually regulates the amount of something used in the process like that can be a control wall, control wall or it can be a damper actuator. So actuator is there, that is a final control element. For example, how much corrective action need you need to, how much corrective action is needed that would be made sure by control wall. For instance, if you see here, we have this example, very simple example. We have high level, we have low level, and we have fill motor and drain motor. So if we our high if we reaches to high level, then our drain system would start working. And the time when we are gonna reach to low level, then our fill mode or fill motor will start. So it's very simple. So same is the case here. These are two instruments like high level and low level, these are limit switches, these are instruments. And then you have final control element, which is a fill motor. It can be a control wall here. So if it is a control wall, then you are gonna actually regulate the flow in by using control wall. Control wall will decide the opening based on how much is the level inside the tank. So now controller, 
controller continuously reads data from transmitter and calculates like you see the brain function in home and body same is a controller function in process automation so controller is actually reading the values of transmitters or instruments and calculate the adjustment to maintain the process to maintain the desired process requirements for automation in recent days we are using plc's and dcs systems for process automation so what is a plc and what is a dcs there would be a small video coming up so in this series, you are going to learn the basics of process automation. If you want to know more and if, if you want to get personalized training with me, then you can reach me on my email address provided here. So all you have to do is send me a request if you want to learn directly. That would be paid course. That would not be a free course. But if you guys are interested, then you can reach me via that email thanks for watching this video it really helps if you're gonna hit the like button and subscribe this channel turn your notification on and if you want to talk to me and if you want to be a part of my live instagram sessions where you can actually directly talk to me on the video call i normally take people on the call on instagram so instagram information is also provided Thanks for watching. Till next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.